Out of the Rough, I'm Fred Arnold, and in this show we're going to highlight opportunities and solutions to help get you out of the rough and into success, both personally and professionally. In these tough economic times, I want to provide you practical solutions to many of today's challenges. And today we have a special edition, the Association of, of Women Entrepreneurs edition with Tara McHugh as my co-guest. Welcome to the show. Thank you, Fred. Tell us about uh, this special edition. Well, we've teamed up to highlight women entrepreneurs that are dedicated to building relationships and helping. Um, they're really focused on business growth and development. Yeah, good stuff, good yeah. stuff. So tell us about our guest, Sandra D. Robinson. Sure, Sandra D. Robinson is a daytime actress. She's a radio show host and founder of Charisma on Camera Media Training School. She helps experts and visionaries look and feel like a rock star when they step in front of uh, the video or TV camera. Yeah, good stuff, and I'm ex so excited she took the time to come down because you know, this doesn't come naturally to most people. No, and a lot of people think that it does, yeah. you know, um, and they think that when they can't relate to a camera, as if it's their best friend, if there's something wrong with them. Mm -hmm. But the reality is that's what I used to get told all the time because as, a, as an actress, I actually, I was terrified to be myself. I hid behind characters mm -hmm. and I was really comfortable there. I was very shy. And so when I would go into commercial auditions, they would say, just look at the camera like it's your best friend. Mm -hmm. But it's not your best friend. And it never felt natural for me to think of it like that. So it kind of makes sense. You know, there's nothing innately in us to be able to relate to a plastic camera lens as if it's a living, breathing human being. So the good thing is, if you feel like that, you're normal. You're human. It's fine. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's normal. And you can to be, overcome it. To be uncomfortable, you know, yes. it's, it's very normal to be uncomfortable. Yes. And when you started as an actress, mm -hmm. did it come naturally to you? Not at all. No, not at all. Uh, well, the the acting part did because then I could take on another persona. You know, like we were joking before we started that I said I've been a murderous and adulterous and you know a crazy person. I've come back from the dead. You know, all these things. That's really fun. Uh, but as soon as I developed a fan following and they said, now just get out there and represent a charity and just be yourself or get on, you know, do this infomercial, I, my knees knocked, I just didn't know what to do, and relating to the camera was really hard. Yeah, so, so video, I'm sorry, so video, let's talk about is, that. Why is yeah. video so important for business owners? Um, well, first remind me, I can give you tips of how to get over that. Let's not leave people hanging. Before we're done, I want to make sure I give some tips for how people can get used to looking at that camera. Um, video is crucial right now for your business because everybody is really looking online and looking for some sort of, they're looking for that format, that visual format for their information. If you think about it, you do the same thing. If there's somebody posts something even on social networks and there's a thumbnail for a video or there's an article, you're going to click on the thumbnail. Mm -hmm. So it'll also, on your website, it can increase, you know, uh, conversion rates can raise up to 300% or more. Wow. So it's it's huge, hugely, hugely important. And even if you're uncomfortable with it, there's a way that you know you can work with that, put yourself in the video just a little bit so people get a flavor for you, but make sure that you are making connection with your people because nothing builds trust and recognition faster than us getting the feel of who you are through a video. Yeah, the essence of who you are. And let's talk about the show. People are gonna come on the show. What are some of the tips yeah, reduce the anxiety, way to look. If they're, they're going to be interviewed and yeah. that kind of thing. Let's, let's um, discuss that. Number one, you say, how are they going to look? Um, I actually have a stylist who's on my team, and it's not a superficial thing at all. You want to walk in feeling fantastic. So you want to know what your colors are. It's, it's, you know, it's really important because you want to not be thinking about that. Have somebody do your hair and your makeup you know, for the women. Um, feel just 100% so that you can concentrate on getting your message across. Do your homework. So if you're coming on your show, Fred, you want to be watching the show, right? You want to find out what's the energy like on the show. How can you best get along with the with the hosts? And and of course, know your bullet points. Do your homework. Know what it is that you want to accomplish. And you know, always have a call to action. So you know, whether it's go to go to my website, please you know vote for me in this election or um, give to my charity. There's always something that you want to make sure that you get across. So yeah. you have those bullet points. Down. Good stuff. Perfect. Good stuff. Yeah. Let's talk it. about the men. They come on the show. Any <laughs> tips for them? Because one thing I've noticed is the ladies that come on the show seem to be very well prepared, yeah. but the guys seem to wing it. They wing it, right? I know. I know. I see it all the time. I think they do that in life too, don't they? They do. Yeah, men more than women. My wife thinks so. <laughs> you know, it and it's a strength in some ways because they they have the confidence that they can pull it off. But yes, it just for them it is it's very important. They'll be that much more confident if they know exactly what they're going to be. Um, the points that they need to be hitting. And the women, the thing with the women is I find that we're very critical of ourselves, mm -hmm. you know, the way we look, um, which is why I said it's very important to have that stylist, have that, you know, that feeling like, okay, I'm good to go, I'm representing myself, and I call it your visual brand. Mm -hmm. Make sure that you can own that place and have that visual brand that's very consistent. 
You know, not that your message has to be exactly the same every time, that you have to wear the same colors every time, but at least have a certain look about you and a way about you and an energy that's consistent with all of your videos, with your interviews and things like that. Mm -hmm. So yeah. when you're comfortable with the way you look, mm -hmm. then your message will come out a lot more clear. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, I very much that. so, because you're not thinking about it, mm -hmm. you know? And as far as, can I, is it okay if I leave a tip too? Because we kind of love it. people hanging at the beginning when <laughs> we said it's it. difficult let's to do, look into the camera. Let's do some tips. Um, just real quick, I, my, my, my overall, I work with people individually. Everybody has their own little things that make, make it really work for them. Mm -hmm. But overall, I always say, think about your message and who you're trying to reach. Mm -hmm. So it's about giving, and you want to talk through that camera lens if you have to look directly at it, not at it, yeah. through it. Because mm -hmm. then it becomes a tool to reach the people that you're most wanting to impact. And try to just do a conversation. Do a yeah. conversation and, and, mm -hmm. and just, it is a conversation with somebody. It is. Um, and, uh, and be prepared. I, I like all those tips. Those are really important because it's yeah. not scary and it's an effective way to reach out to people. Yes. It yes, is yes. very effective, yes, the well, most effective. Absolutely. Thank you for coming on the show. Thank you for having me. Yeah, it was absolutely. a pleasure. Absolutely. Ladies yeah. and gentlemen, you, Sandra. Sandra D. Robinson and some great tips on uh, going on camera. We're going to jump to a quick break, and we'll be right back.